AI is a frontier issue in health sector as well as in many others. And in the era of sustainable development, it is important that we make full use of the potential of AI to find uh, solutions uh, to address the multiple goals in uh, the 17 goals of uh, SDG. Now, uh, more specifically for health, uh, goal number three is on health. How do we promote uh, you know, health and uh, well-being of people? And AI has great potential. But having said that, I also need to encourage people to be a bit more cautious with AI because uh, we don't have answers to all the questions. And we don't even know uh, to ask uh, all the questions. So I mean, you know, we need to find the right balance. Well, I think the uh, AI summit organized by ITU is extremely important because it provides a neutral platform where uh, experts, uh, be it in computer science, uh, you know, AI uh, experts, or in other health sectors, as well as civil society and the industry, come together to share experiences, best practices, and lessons learned. The reason I'm saying this is because AI is a very uh, cross-cutting uh, issue. It touches many uh, disciplines. Uh, the fact that this platform gives uh, a place where people can come together uh, to learn from each other is uh, really amazing. Now, in health sector, truly, I think AI can help us to mine the multiple databases and help us to detect patterns uh, of you know, um, overuse or underuse. In a way, at the system level, it helps us to assess the performance of health systems, whether or not a certain doctor or a hospital is over-servicing or under-servicing uh, patients. Now, at the uh, you know, individual level, it can empower individuals to make healthy choices and to stay healthy and happy. At the you know, a government level, it can help us to also make proper decisions uh, in terms of our health investment into the right uh, area that will yield the highest return on in investment. On the doctor, a doctor and the nurses level, I mean, you know, AI has a potential to organize data structure data and simplify processes to help doctors and nurses to make decisions. Now, we, we must recognize uh, uh, the context for healthcare decision is extremely complex. We need to know, for example, uh, if AI, I mean, uh, properly programmed uh, intelligent machine, if they make a diagnosis, a wrong diagnosis, mind you, can we sue an intelligent machine. So these are regulatory uh, issues that we need to address because doctors, nurses, as well as the training of um, uh, doctors and nurses and medical institutions are accredited uh, institutions. So in order to reap the potential of AI, we also need to look at the regulatory issues as well as the uh, ethical uh, dilemmas. My, my worry is that uh, the potential of AI is good, but it may further increase the inequity uh, between the rich and the not so rich countries. Until and unless, uh, through the ITU and many other partners, we can democratize and promote the access of internet to all countries on an equal basis, uh, the potential of AI is uh, too far away for many developing countries, but we should not give up. We have to continue to explore the potential of AI.